Good afternoon, beautiful people out there. It's another episode of Quincy Time. It's my time. It's my show. I do what I want. We're in the month of August now. That means July just passed. So that means we're ready for the monthly winners of MLS Quincy Time Challenge League Fantasy. Boo! No one cares about the uh, Quincy Time Fantasy League. Shut your mouth. This is everyone's favorite part of the show. Don't ruin it for everybody else. Back to the winners of the month of July. In first place, we got Khalif Ala Squad with 439 points. In second place, Rob's Canadian friend with 429 points. And Ninja Skirtles. I like that name. 425 points. Just for that, I move you to first place because I like your name the best. And you'll get a better prize than Khalif Alha Squad. So go ahead and like the page. Should be popping up right now. Hashtag be Quincy MLS Fantasy Challenge page. Like the page. Send us a message with your contact information. We will send you a sweet gift of sorts. And maybe next week I'll show you what you win. So this week's Quincy Time Challenge, CJ Brown's daughters have been begging me all year to be on an episode of Quincy Time, obviously, because they're great, huge fans of the show. Just like you. Everyone else out there, because it's the best show on YouTube. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> right? Uh, so I finally gave in. I said, fine, but no crying when I whoop your butt. I don't care if you're two little girls. Let's go see what happened. Welcome to another episode of Quincy Time. It's my time. It's my show. I do what I want. Sure. Today we got two <laughs> special guests. Vanessa and Callie. We were gonna do a ripstick challenge, but head coach Frank Yallop vetoed that real quick. Thanks a lot, Chuck. And we decided the egg on a spoon balance challenge. Callie challenged me last week and I told her she'd get to be on a show of Quincy Time. So here it is. All right, here's the rules. You gonna explain the rules to them? No scaring people. <laughs> okay, rule. Or I'll throw the rest of my eggs at you. Okay, so rule number one, no scaring people. Rule number two, we start at this cone here. You guys, here it is, this cone. We start here. You can walk, run, crawl, however you need to with the spoon. I don't care how long it takes you. Crandall's gonna time it. You start at the cone, you weave through each cone all the way to the end. You weave through all of them, turn around, weave back, walk all the way back, and ends and starts at this cone. If at any point in time you drop an egg, you have to come back, get another egg. And start all over again. Start all over again. You only get four eggs though. So if you run out of four eggs, whatever point you got to the farthest with your egg is where it ends and there's no time limit. If we finish, fastest time wins. So what happens if you lose? What happens to the loser? I have to get thrown in the cold pool. Because so she's allergic to eggs. She is allergic to eggs. And the one and the loser. And her dad approved this. So if any if an egg breaks and there's an allergic reaction, this is not my fault. Can't I did not eggs. I did not give permission to this. <laughs> CJ Brown gave permission to this. If she loses, get she gets in thrown cold. in the cold tub. When she loses, egg smashed on the head. When the future comes and he loses. He gets eggs thrown at him also. Okay, so that's that's what we're playing for, for eggs smashed on the head and Quincy time points because those points mean something. They add up to the end of the year and you can't touch it with the other hand. If it drops, it drops. Just You can only touch the spoon. You can only touch the spoon. This is a long course, by the way. Go ahead. Go. Oh, you're gonna go faster than that. You gotta go faster than that. I'm gonna beat you. You're 40 seconds, you better hurry up. Oh, don't drop it now. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. And time. Oh, 59.2. 59. 59. No, you scared me. no, you weren't scared. 59.2 seconds, okay. You should have made it that you had to like step onto this. Uh, <laughs> yeah! Yeah! That counts! That's one egg, one that down. Count. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Oh, that's, look at how much faster she's going. Woo, someone's gonna get an egg on her.
You're at 34. Ah! <laughs> Run, you man! Gotta come back, you gotta Run. come back. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Yes. Yeah. We have to start all over. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Time. How do you know you are final? One fifty one. Okay. Okay, go ahead and count me down. Five. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Go. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that speed. Look at the speed and dexterity. Oh, we're going to stride. Oh, it's shaking. Woo! Yeah! Time! Four, three. Woo! 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 Yes! 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 CJ! In your face! Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Four, three, two. <laughs> to clarify, they both are making each other do this. I said they didn't have to do this. Okay. Okay. You get so. to crack the egg on her head. <laughs> Wait. You want to do it? I can't, you can't squeeze it and break it. You can't. I, it's, you couldn't do it. If you pulled it in your hand and squeeze it. Okay, try to squeeze it over to your head. Go ahead. <laughs> so yeah, that's like a lot more points for me and none for challengers. Send in your Quincy Time challenges using the hashtag Quincy Time. I'm reading them. I'm responding to them. I'm challenging. I'm dominating. I don't care who you are. I take on all challenges. Almost all challenges. Nearly all challenges. Oh, yeah. Go check out my new website. It's not that new. It's kind of new. QuincyMiracle.com. I got some cool new stuff up there. Check that out. You guys should go do that. Join my newsletter. Give you some inspirational, feel-good stuff. Entrepreneurial stuff things. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Boom, on last week's episode of Quincy Time, I asked you guys to send me in your best Quincy Time PowerPoints. So here's some of the favorite ones that I liked of last week. Keep them coming. Run it. So keep sending me in your Quincy Time PowerPoints. I want a user submitted or follower submitted challenge. The problem is you guys are sending me like some super lame challenges, man. Come on, you're better than that. Be clever like that PowerPoint in a PowerPoint in a PowerPoint. That's the kind of stuff I need out of you. Step it up. The hashtag CF97 edits on Vine. I'll give you a shout out because you're doing work. I like those vines that you got. My first kiss went a little like this. I'm proud of you, keep it up. Keep it up. So I'll see you later, you broke mother...